Hey y'all, I'm here. So, if you're new to standalone window managers, it can be a little tricky to find out where to even look to figure out how to change, like, GTK themes, icon themes, and your cute theme. So, by default, both of these will probably just say Advaita, and if you pull up like some GTK program, rather than having some theme of your choice, it'll just look like Advaita. I mean, I already set mine, so it's just a general dark minty theme, but I'm just gonna talk a bit about a few different ways to set the GTK theme, and the only one I've found so far for setting the cute theme. So, for GTK, I'm just going to front load the easiest one, which is to just install and use LX Appearance. This is just the graphical theme settings and such from LXDE, which, because of how modular LXDE was, it works fine with standalone window managers and might even work with random other desktop environments. And you can tell from my syntax highlighting that I do not take the easy way. So, for the messing with config files way, it's good to first check what themes you even have installed. So, just ls slash usr slash share slash themes. Ignore the ones starting with kv for now because those are just cute themes related to Quantum, which I'm going to talk about later. But like some of the themes, you can see I have Advaita and Advaita Dark because I have GTK installed. A lot of mint themes just because I like the mint themes and chose to install them. And if you don't have as much selection as you'd like, just search your package manager, GitHub, GitLab, wherever, for GTK themes. Sometimes the package manager will just have them with theme and the name and no, like, GTK or anything. And also, just a way to tell if a specific theme is GTK or not. So if you see, say like just a little ls for the themes folder, if you see a subfolder for GTK 2.0, there's a GTK2 theme. If you see a subfolder for GTK3.0, there's a GTK3 theme. I'd imagine the same probably goes for GTK4, but I don't actually have anything installed that uses that, so can't say for sure. So yeah, just kind of make a note of whichever one of the whichever one of your themes you like. In my case, mint y teal seems to go well. Well, either of the mint y teals seems to go well enough with this background. I want for dark just to have a dark theme. And then to see what icon themes are installed, because GTK icon theme is going to be the same config file slash usr slash share slash icons and you'll probably see Advaita and the classic beautiful Fianza. I also have a bunch of mint y ones because again I just like them and similar deal if you don't have a good selection just check your package manager, GitHub, GitLab, wherever, for icon themes. Then, once you got an idea of what you want, 
for GTK 3 and 4, the config file is, from what I can tell, the same syntax and all, just slightly different path. So I just point a text editor to your home slash dot config helps if you can type properly slash gtk 3.0 or 4.0 just whichever you're setting slash settings dot any and the main two that the main three lines you need to care about just settings in brackets at the top i've always seen it with the capital s i don't know whether that's required by the syntax or not so i just do it to be safe then gtk theme name with hyphens in between equals whatever theme you decided on in my case mint y dark teal and gtk dash icon dash theme dash name whatever you decided on i went with mint y because that's the green ones and just to show that these work i'm gonna just change to a nice visibly different one let's go with red so just change that to mint y red save it and if i open my file manager again you can see that the folders are now red and since there's some visible teal, I'm just going to change this as well. And now you can see that the formerly teal highlights are also red. And changes to this file take effect as soon as you save it, but any GTK stuff that you have open won't actually apply the changes until you close it and reopen it. So yeah, I'm just going to undo those. And I can find a good reference to link. There are other things you can do with this file, like you can change font stuff, although at least default font is probably better to set in font config files so that it doesn't just apply to GTK stuff, but some of the other stuff like anti-alias and hinting you might want to mess with. And you can also set the cursor for just GTK stuff, but I think it's better to just set that in X resources so that it's system-wide. Yeah, so once that's good, just save and exit. Then for GTK2, I can't really do anything to demonstrate that what I'm going to show you works because I don't think I have anything installed that still uses GTK2. But as long as you have a GTK2 compatible theme, this file is directly in your home directory gtkrc-2.0 and oh yeah i think i just set this to raleigh because at one point i had like a really broken install of the mint themes so yeah the syntax is just include then in quotes the path to the theme slash gtk 2.0 slash gtkrc and it looks like at least this mint theme 
doesn't even have a GTK2 GTKRC file, so... Yeah, pretty much just whatever you have that actually is properly GTK2 compatible, that include as all you really need. And then GTK-icon-theme-name and whatever icon theme you want. And I don't know whether this supports as much fancy stuff as the INI file for 3 and 4, but if I can find a good reference page, I'll link that in the description as well. And now for cute theming, just gonna clear the terminal so there isn't as much GTK stuff on there. The only way I know of is the semi-easy way. I couldn't find anything that involves config files. So just install Quantum, which I'm gonna just type the package name. None of the binaries are just called Quantum, but I, I promise I do have it installed. And then there's one line I can actually just cat this, that you need to add to dash profile in your home folder. And that is just export cute style override equals quantum and make sure to source dot profile in your bash rc, zshrc, whatever, so that this takes effect there too. This basically just tells any cute programs to use quantum for styling stuff. So yeah, that you'll probably need to sign out and sign back in for it to fully take effect. Within an individual terminal, you could probably just source it and run stuff from there and call it good. Yeah, then once that's good, Quantum Manager is what you want. Then just go to change slash delete theme. You can see right now I'm using KV Arc Dark. So if I open VirtualBox, because that's something that I have and know for a fact uses Qt, it looks kind of like this, which I don't actually remember if that's the usual KV Arc Dark look for VirtualBox or if it's just remembering some previous playing around with themes I did. Yeah, just for a visible change, let's try KV Dark Red. Then just click Use This Theme to apply it. And if I reopen VirtualBox, you can see that it looks pretty different. That's that's a cool little animation. Yeah, so like with GTK theming, this takes effect immediately. But also like GTK theming, If you change it while something's running, it's not going to take effect until you close and reopen it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helped someone, and have a nice rest of your day.